Hi everyone, Hi. welcome to my channel. My name is Cher and this and is Megan. my daughter Megan. Uh, today, first and foremost, we want to wish everyone a very happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought we would just kind of bring you along. We're going to actually make a very special gift yes. for my boyfriend's mom. We're going to be mm -hmm. heading over there here pretty soon. Yep. So we are going to put together a charcuterie platter. We've never made anything like this before, and I've been scouring Pinterest to kind of get ideas as to what to go and buy, and just to kind of get ideas on how to, like for the presentation part of it. So we thought we would just kind of bring you along and, and show you how, how we're, it yeah, works out. See how we put this thing together. So let's get started. So here's an overview of all the goodies that I picked up for our little charcuterie platter. I'm just gonna kind of go through here really quick. Um, we got an assortment of different kinds of crackers, thought these were kind of cool, these little baguettes, uh, rosemary and olive oil. I love these, these little pretzel little crisps. Um, got some tzatziki triscuits. Then I also thought we might need some things with a little bit more <laughs> sweetness to them, so I got a package of these cookies. And then these I thought looked really nice, and I think they look really good on the platter as well. And they're cranberry poppy seed flavor. And then I thought these little cookies were really cute because they're actually like a little heart shape. How cute is that? These little biscuits. Uh, what else do we have? We've got some more chocolate. I thought we could break those up into little pieces. I picked up some dates. I thought those might be kind of interesting. Some peanuts, some pistachios, an assortment of different fruits here. We've got some blueberries, raspberries, some grapes, and we also had some of this in the fridge. I thought this might be kind of neat to use as a garnish. This is just some thyme that we had used for a different recipe here not too long ago, so hopefully that will work out. And of course, you can't have a charcuterie platter without a bunch of meats and cheeses, so I just grabbed some of these turkey little pepperoni bites. I've got this little package of meat. Now, this is what I thought was kind of cool, where you can get these packages that kind of come already pre-sliced for you. This is the Prusak, Prusak, I don't even know how you say that, prosciutto, prosciutto. And then I've got this one that has a mixture of different kinds of meats, which I thought was kind of cool, this antipasto kind of mix here. Now this, the meats actually add up really quickly, so I just got like these packages here, um, and I'm hoping that we'll have enough meat. And with these, I plan on making, I found these really cool rosettes that you can make with like, kind of like these little round pieces of meat, and you kind of load them onto like a small little glass and they come up looking like a rose. So we're gonna give that a try today. We'll see how that works out. I also picked up this little thing of herb and garlic goat cheese. I thought that looked kind of interesting. I've got some just regular cheddar and I've got some baby bells. I know that my mother-in-law loves these because I buy these for her every week <laughs> in her grocery shopping. And I got some Gouda and I had a Borsan in the freezer. So I just pulled this out and I think this will work really, really well as well. So let's get started. We're gonna just try to get this all on to our little platter. And this is what I'm gonna be using today. This is just the cake carrier from Dollar Tree. I've kind of fancied it up here a little bit on the top with just some just little sprigs of some flowers and that I got from Dollar Tree and some ribbon. And I also picked these up at Dollar Tree. I thought maybe we could use these putting like the little pickles and things like that and olives. Oh, which I think I missed. I think I went right past those. Yeah, there we go. We've got some stuffed olives. We've got some sweet gherkin pickles. And I also picked up this red chili spread. So here we go. Wish us luck. We're going to try to get most of this or a little bit of everything onto this platter. So let's see how we do. So we've been playing around a little bit, trying to figure out how to make these little salami roses. Yeah. And I think we've perfected it, hey, Megs? Well, I did. More or less. So <laughs> this is one version. There's a couple of different ways you can do these, but Megan's gonna show you how we made this little one here first. Yeah. So what you need to do is fold these in half and then just make a little line of them, a little bit overlapping each other, as I'll show you now, like just overlapping it just a little bit. Maybe just try to go that way a little bit more so yeah. you don't run out of cutting board. <laughs> and then we did seven with this one. So you could do more, you could do less if you want Yeah, to. it just depends how big you want your roses to be. But I we guess. just did lucky number seven. Yep, lucky number seven. <laughs> and it was lucky, look at how it turned yeah, out. Yeah, it turned out really well. So I'm just gonna keep folding these up, putting these on here, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe overlap them just a little bit more here. Mm -hmm. Or do it sideways, because we got more surface area. Oh yeah. We're still learning. Yeah. <laughs> We're learning as we go. That's right. Six. Doing good. One more. One more. 
I can hear our neighbor's dog barking right now. Yeah, that's the puppy that Megan walks Arr. all the time. <laughs> okay. Big golden retriever. Okay, here we go. So then you just start and you're rolling it. Fairly tightly, hey? Mm -hmm. Not not too, too tight, but... And then you just roll over top of that. You need to hold it all because this will start coming off. So you got to just make sure to hold the whole thing when twirling it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> I'm saying twirling. <laughs> twirling. Looking Let's just good. maybe move these over here. So I have more room to twirl. <laughs> good job, Megs. Keep twirling. And we're almost at the end. And then. Then you just take a tooth. But look at that. It's beautiful. It's even better than oh, that yeah, one. it is better than that one. See, we're getting better with more practice. And okay. then you take a toothpick and, and then just you just kinda push that in there. And then you can just trim the ends if you don't like how they look so the Oops, toothpick sticking out. We'll do that and after. We can trim that later. So there you go. Perfect. Nice little rose. Now we're going to show you one so other to way. make a bigger one. Yeah, and a little bit more fluffy, fuller looking one. Yeah. So this is the other way that we've been experimenting making these roses. So Megan's going to show you how to use a wine glass. Mm -hmm. And it's not a huge one, but it's like we, have some, we had a smaller one here too. And it just depends on what size you want your roses to be in the end, I guess. But we want one nice big fluffy fold looking yeah. one. So here's what you do. Yeah, so you just kind of fold it over, like, you know how we were doing, like, the halves like this? You're kind of just having it over this instead. Just like that. And then you just overlap them. It's just one. Overlap them. Just fold it over. And just keep building, hey? Just keep going around and around, twirling and <laughs> twirling. <laughs> Awesome. And then you just keep going. Again, I guess. Until the middle is filled up, pretty much. Because that's what's going to make your rose part. Oh, I see. Just like that, okay? This is what it looked like on the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we watched a few videos trying to find the best way. Technically, Mum watched a few videos. Yeah. I just watched one and I mastered <laughs> it just like yeah, that. Yeah, she's a fast learner. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So proud of myself. <laughs> All right, you almost there, I think. No, I can't. No, just gotta yeah. keep. This one does take a lot more meat. We're basically using an entire package, that looks ugly. Uh, okay. <laughs> Me being perfectionist, that needs to be So perfect. you're almost got the middle filled in there, I see. It doesn't have to be completely though, right? Uh, it doesn't have to, but I'm going to completely fill it. Because <laughs> I want to use up all the meat because we already made our other roses. So now we just need to make one of our big roses. So I gotta use up the rest of this meat. Make it look nice. It's gonna nice be a and fluffy. really fluffy one. Just hope it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> okay. okay, we got two more. Awesome. And okay. Okay, ready? So the trick to this is to just kinda flip it over. Carefully take, oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Awesome, I love it. Awesome. Look at that. Okay, so now we can start arranging all our goodies onto our platter. Yep.
So here's our little charcuterie platter. We are all done. And as you can see, a lot of the things that I purchased for this thing didn't end up making it onto the platter because we ran out of space really, really fast. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. So I think what we'll do is we'll just bring some of the cookies and some more of the crackers and some of the other goodies that we bought and we'll just bring those along with us and they can enjoy those for the next few days as well. But you can see that we tucked our little little salami roses in here and then we got the big one over here and then I just went and picked a few pansies out of my uh, little planter outside and used those as garnish here for our little platter and I think that looks really cute and then a lot of these other little things we had kind of filled up the pickles and then we've got the red pepper jelly here I'm just going to put some saran on these and take them and they can use them on the side because there just is not enough room on here. So I guess the moral of the story is next time we do this, we are definitely gonna be using a much bigger platter for starters and probably like a big, an actual like cutting board would actually be really awesome. Um, but the great thing about this is it's going to be easy to transport because I can put the lid on here and I think they'll really enjoy it. I'm sure Perry's mom will really enjoy this. So. Hopefully this has given you guys some ideas. Um, this would be a great gift for just about any occasion, really. I mean, the sky's the limit and the, you know, you could just be picky and choosy as to what you put in it. We kind of went with more just kind of savory stuff here, meat, cheese, crackers. Um, like I say, we ran out of room for anything else, but uh, yeah, next time I will definitely do things a little differently. So I hope you guys have a great day. Have an awesome Mother's Day and I will catch you again on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.